find the magnetic field due to a straight conductor carrying current and this conductor is extending up to infinity think about it when the conductor was of this length we had some value phi 1 we had some value let us say phi 2 correct if you go on extending it the value of phi 1 will go on increasing if it extend up to infinity phi 1 will become 90 degree on the other end also it is extending so you see the value of phi 2 will go on increasing till when till it becomes equal to what 90 degree till this value of phi 1 till the value of phi 1 and phi 2 becomes equal to how much 90 degree so if it is an infinite wire the value of phi 1 and phi 2 becomes equal to equal to 90 so we know sin 90 is 1 and sin 90 is 1 so 1 plus 1 that will be 2 correct so what will be the refined formula b will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi we know that when you have got an infinite wire carrying current equal to i then this will be equal to i by a and this will give you sin 90 plus sin 90 that is 1 plus 1 that is going to be equal to 2 or I can just club this over here so you get 2i by a. No problem. Alright. Always remember the value of mu naught by 4 pi is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7. Whenever you require to substitute this, you can directly substitute it. Not a problem. Okay. Alright. When the values are given, this is how we do. So, as we know that if you go on increasing the length of the conductor such that this current carrying wire extends up to infinity, then the value of phi 1 and phi 2 will become equal to 90. And if that becomes equal to 90, then the result that we have changes slightly. B is equal to mu naught by 4 pi, 2 times i divided by. Now, this is not a result that you should mug it up. You should just remember the regular result. And remember the condition that when it is an infinite wire, then what happens? Phi 1 also becomes equal to 90 and phi 2 also becomes equal to 90. Perfect. Well, the second case could be a semi-infinite wire and near one of its ends if i want to find the value of the magnetic field then what happens so if you take this point well what you can see is that phi 1 is equal to what zero degree but the other other end if you go on go on extending this what will happen this will go up to 90 degree no problem so one angle becomes equal to zero another one becomes equal to 90 well sine zero is zero and sine 90 is equal to one and that gives us for a semi-infinite wire near one of its end, we get B is equal to mu naught by 4 pi I divided by. So, remember these results.